Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 12-10-2022, and today is the long-awaited video of the introduction of the paid resource I've been talking about, and you guys have been patiently waiting. I've gotten all set up, so for the brevity of the first part of this video, for those of you who just wanted to find out what the resource is and get the, uh, the affiliate link and, and uh, a discount code uh, for the platform, I'll just give that to you up front here, but I do appreciate it if you do watch the video in its entirety um, because I will go into a deep dive onto what they offer, into what they offer and what the, what the, uh, uh, what the, excuse me, Tretz is active, <clears throat> what the uh, platform looks like on the back end, so you can see what that looks like. But anyway, it's called Zero to Mastery, as you can see on the screen. This particular course that I'm taking is called the Complete Web Developer in 2023. It's super, it's really good. Um, and so uh, the course includes access to uh, exclusive ZTM community. That's a Discord group, uh, just like we're used to with uh, Top. You get a certificate of completion. You learn and master web development with zero prior knowledge. You have a limited access to all courses, workshops, and career paths and resources. And I'll go over that in a little bit. That's really important, actually. You have 40 hours of videos, 200 plus bonus projects, uh, 200 plus bonus resources and 10 projects and the prereq is to willingness and enthusiasm to learn and a internet connection and I won't read all through all this you guys can um, peruse that through the link but if you use my link I really appreciate it because it is an affiliate code I do want to say that ZTM is not sponsoring this video they're not paying me to put this up this is uh, done on my own fruition and my own free will this is a great course I am 61% complete through the course and loting it. Um, so I uh, just want to let you know that. Uh, so the referral link, if you use my referral link, that will be in the description and the uh, pin first comment of the video. You will get uh, the opportunity to get an additional 10% off of your purchase price uh, for the course. Um, they have a couple different pricing plans. I'll let you look through those at, and pick uh, whatever works for you. But uh, yeah, it's a sweet deal. It's not very expensive, and you get a 10% off as well if you use my coupon code. Um, so anyway, that's that's this is kind of like their landing page of what you're going to be uh, learning and going through. You're going to be uh, building different projects, a landing page, background generator, a uh, simple portfolio, uh, robo friends, uh, and a smart brain. Um, and so, without jabbering too much, let's get into the back end. So when you, um, <clears throat> excuse me, because it's a paid resource, I won't be, I can't show you like individual videos. It is video based, so that's a good thing. But if you look here on the back end, when you first log on after you pay, um, you get access to everything. Um, <clears throat> your fee that you pay, whether you decide to go to a monthly fee or one-time fee or a yearly fee, um, you get access to all those, I believe. You get access to all this content under all those plans. So it's really a, a well-rounded program. I haven't, obviously, I can't attest to any of the other ones because I'm only taking and focusing on the web dev. But uh, as you can see, I'm 61% complete. And this guy named Andre puts it on. Uh, it's a stellar program. It's exactly what I was looking for, guys. So in the last video, we were talking about video-based. So it is video-based. Uh, if I click on it here, this shows you. It's grayed out. might be a little hard to see, but this is uh, what I've already completed. But <clears throat> it does take you through step-by-step -step these icons, you know, video, video, and then there's some exercises, which is really sweet. Because it helps keep you out of tutorial hell where you're just literally watching video, watching video, watching, watching video, not doing. Uh, so it does complement top really well. I will caution you because I'm a transparent person and I always be, always be good to you guys. I will say that this program, um, it is easy, uh, compared to top anyway, it is easy to get stuck in tutorial hell. So you have to be careful and I, I will caution to tell you to make sure that especially in the... The introduction, maybe not so much. How internet works, history of the web, maybe not so much. But once you hit HTML5 and HTML5 advanced and CSS, um, there are some optional exercises in there, but they're not—they're sprinkled in. So as you see with like CSS, there's like three 
three video modules that are pretty beefy and then there's an optional exercise that kind of goes over some of it but not all of it but I encourage you if you if you choose this program so you don't fall in tutorial hell is code along with them don't just watch the videos because you won't get anything out of it you need to be in my opinion you need to be coding along so uh, maybe some of them if you if they're a little more uh, beefier videos maybe watch the video up front and then uh, watch it again just to understand it and pay attention and then set watch it again and then actually code through it um, code along with them like pause the video code it on your own not copy and paste but like actually type it in it will help cement in the concept I know this stuff if you've been through top already and you got into the point where I got this is all review but even so these sections were were gems I'll tell you what there was stuff in here that that flowed well and Andre did a really good job of tying it in to each other and things that I didn't that I didn't pick up on in top so um, yeah I wish I could show them to you but for the sake of the you know their program and it's their resource and it's copyrighted I don't I can't do that but um, but anyway, you will get nuggets along the way, so don't speed through CSS and HTML5 um, just because you're like, hey, I've already done this a couple times. Really take your time, make sure you're following through, doing all the exercises, coding along with them, and then after that, they go into some bootstrap templates and building your startup landing page, so this is pretty cool. Um, if you guys want to, you can head out to my, um, I can show you a little bit if there's a little bit of time at the end of the video, but I really want to make this an intro video for ZTM itself, but, um, my GitHub page does have some, uh, projects out there from the stuff, some of the stuff I've been doing in here, so it's not a, that's not proprietary, that part of it's not, it's not a, you know, secret or anything. You can go out there and see some of the things that I've been working on, uh, just a brief precursor I have out there. Um, these are forks, but for things I was working on, uh, gradient background picker, shopping to-do list, these are JavaScript, um, based projects, CSS layout obviously is CSS, building business landing page is an HTML project, and, um, uh, startup landing page is an HTML project, and then we go back to, and then the CV project was the React project from Odin. So you see I've been putting some things out there. So um, yeah, so you can take a look at those on your own. Um, so he here you're learning Bootstrap and they take you through quite a bit of stuff. Uh, Bootstrap's really fun. It's easy. I think it was easy to learn and easy to understand. Um, it complements CSS very nicely. <clears throat> builds on top of it. Then they go into more CSS with uh, grid and layout. And they talks about career web developer JavaScript. As you can see, I'm 61% complete. I love the program, um, so I can recommend it to you guys fully uh, with full transparency, honesty. I do love it. Um, it's complementing top nicely. I do. I will say again, if I haven't reiterated it, if you've not done top and you're just kind of checking me out for the first time, or you just found this uh, video online, uh, just take your time with it and don't speed through it. Even if you think you know it, don't speed through it. Code right along with them. Do every exercise that they offer. Read all the bonus material if there is any. Uh, and don't just watch the videos because you will not get a, as much out of it. So this JavaScript section is really good. I had a lot of nuggets coming out of this. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of um, pieces that I didn't know that I know now, which are really cool, that kind of tie together. And I was pretty weak on... Um, okay, so I'll come back to it in a second. So DOM manipulation, there's a section on that, which is pretty cool. They don't go into the enough depth as maybe Top does, but again, if you've been through Top and done the DOM part, this is a very good supplement. Uh, very, very good. So advanced JavaScript here, this goes into a lot of um, uh, advanced objects, arrays, touche arrays, um, uh, those sorts of things. I knew I was fairly weak in my... Um, uh, modules concept and really weak on advanced arrays and ob advanced objects and how to manipulate them and how to map over map filter reduce this goes into all that and really I had some major nuggets in here too guys so I can't say enough good stuff about this program command line they te he goes and teach you a little about command line um, I will say if you're I have not had any problem yet but he, he's using uh, his Mac. So if you're Linux, it's going to be pretty closely tied. 
He does have a Windows path in case you window your Windows users out there who would like to use Windows for your development. Um, I don't personally recommend it because there's a lot of uphill bugs and challenges you might come by with some of the tooling um, that you'll be kind of on your own. He will help you and give you some ideas here, but you might be having to do a little more Googling. So recommended either using Mac or using Linux. I was already on Linux. I just kept using my same uh, dev box from this. This is what you're looking at here, the dev box from top. So I was already set up. He goes over setting up the developer environment. He uses Sublime Text, but we use you can use VS Code. Or you can follow along with his. Um, does a really good job explaining that stuff. This is really cool. This section I got a lot out of this Git and GitHub plus open source projects. So in top, we've not actually up to the React part. We not actually we've been introduced to open source projects and contributing, but we've not really been over pull requests and do that. Well, he does that in here. And you can see in my repos, um, some of these are forked because I did um, I did some open sourcing. So if you go over here to pull request, you can see here that uh, through the exercises, I have done uh, three total pull requests. One is closed and two are open. Um, just messing around with their uh, repo, uh, adding test files and solution files, cheat sheet branch, adding to that. But it's still real live stuff. So you get real live experience using... Uh, pull requests to and he goes through the whole process I won't go through that in this video but the whole process to um, uh, get a PR uh, submitted a pull request submitted to get a remote repo uh, open source project updated so that's pretty cool it shows an employer that you're you're working on open source and you're willing to and you're you know willing and able to work with a team on things and collaborate instead of just working on your own because it's self-taught things can get a little um, uh, a little uh, one-man show-ish as you know because you're doing everything on your own so that's really cool to do that and I took advantage of that with several pull requests so <clears throat> anyway and then talks about day in the life of developer it goes through npm and npm scripts which isn't a lot much new there as far as if you've been through top already uh, we will uh, be uh, hitting or I will be hitting into this more in the future uh, just haven't gotten there yet and then they go he goes into react with react hooks and redux Hooks and Redux will be uh, have been moved to the end of the course, um, <clears throat> and he starts having you do uh, your first React uh, project. And I'm down here. You can see now I'm down here on building a React app part five. Uh, so I can show you this uh, right here. So this is the React app that I'm working on it's called Robo Friends. Um, it, I mentioned it briefly earlier in the video, but uh, these are you know individual card components. Um, that are created in the React uh, class, and um, you, this is a, a live component here, a search box, and it actually will um, uh, reach over the cards array here and pull out the um, the names of who you search for the robot. So say, say we're looking for uh, Leanne Graham and we didn't see her, we knew her name. We could do L E and see how it's filtering as I'm typing using the on change, and Leanne. Uh, Graham ends up there so it's pretty cool I'm not done with it yet but uh, that's as far as I've gotten with it I would use click uh, uh, selected a custom background uh, for the project using the uh, gradient picker that you go through that you create in earlier on in the CSS uh, which is right here gradient background picker uh, simple to use app that allows you to, do, to use two color pickers and blend together a custom background. You can actually, I won't go through that, but maybe I'll do another video uh, at a different time going over the, some of these projects um, as far as that goes. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at so far and the rest of it here is uh, um, <clears throat> JSAC, uh, J, excuse me, Ajax, JSON, HTTP, which async. So we know some of that. We haven't been through Ajax or anything yet if you've gotten to the React part of top. But there's a back-end introduction, goes over APIs, leveling up, problem-solving skills, and then a final project, Smart Brain Front End. And it goes through, uh, starts to go through, the that project goes through everything from the front end to the back end to servers, databases, Express, Node, um, Mongo. I think they're using MongoDB, if I remember right. So then they go through. So it's a full-fledged front-to-finish front to uh, project that you can put on your portfolio. 
Node and Express.js goes over that, uh, starts and then a smart brain backend. So create back, creating that backend with the server, going over the database, setting up the database with the back smart brain backend, and putting it to production out in the world, out in the world, in the internet, uh, wild, wild internet. And then where to go from here, kind of like the top does, like it, you know, advice for interviewing, how to get your portfolio set up, and they encourage you to use these uh, projects that you build along with them in the in the program for your for your portfolio. I probably will do that. And may add some of my own as well. Uh, yeah, there's so much more I could go through with you guys, but uh, this video is already 15 minutes, so I didn't want to. Uh, uh, hold you and bore you any longer, but this stuff is really cool. So if you stuck with me to this point, uh, I, I hope that you gain some value from it and you're excited about it. And just to round things out here, I'd let you know when you do pay uh, using my link and getting that discount code. You, no matter what program, no matter what method you use, whether it's monthly, annual, uh, or lifetime, you will get access to all this. So if you finish complete uh, web developer in 2023 and you're like hey I want to do my I want to do Python and go over here and do Python um, and so there's nothing nothing hurting you there I, I would caution you from doing two at once I definitely would not do that uh, that's just way way too much information uh, and learning for for your brain so yeah I mean look there's there's redux there's uh, coding interviews uh, course, there's UI UX, there's PyTor PyTorch, TensorFlow, cybersecurity, uh, Rust, <laughs> React Native for mobile development, Golang, uh, Go, um, Node, they got a JavaScript, more advanced JavaScript that um, uh, is more to the more in depth, deep diving, and more projects you can put on your portfolio. SQL Database Camp, um, and I love it because this is all self paced. You, as you can see in the videos uh, in the um, um, back end here, you just go at your own pace. It's not like it's like a boot camp as far as the information, but it's not as far as the timeline, and it's definitely not nearly as expensive. So, super good stuff. Anyway, I won't ramble on. Uh, to to round out, I will leave my referral link in the uh, description of the video and also in the uh, pinned comment with the uh, uh, that ten percent off code for you to use if you decide to sign up if you don't no no hard feelings but like I said this video is not sponsored they're not paying me um, to do this but I do get a affiliate kickback if you do sign up under my affiliate link so if you I as in the last video I said I'd really be appreciative if you, if you did that it would really help me out since my channel is not monetized in any way yet because I've not met the thresholds through YouTube so all my stuff so far, the 168 videos I've done are have been on my own fruition and free, which is no problem. But I just let you know that that'll that would really help me out. So anyway, um, that will be all for now. So uh, I'll probably upload another video every now and then, letting you know, giving you an update of where I'm at on things, and uh, and just um, keep in touch with you. And I'm also keeping in the comments and uh, reading those and commenting as I can. So um, love you all and hope you're doing well uh if you celebrate christmas merry early christmas or if not happy holidays and i'll see you next time see ya